Hey, this is Andrew Brown and welcome to another update of the free AWS Cloud Project Bootcamp. I hope you are still super excited for this. I know what you're asking, did I make it in? And I'm gonna repeat again, if you filled out the registration form and it's successfully submitted, regardless of whether you got a confirmation back, most likely you are in. The way you will know for sure is that if your email made it into our email registry, um, and what we're doing is we're taking that email list, the, all your data that you provided to us, we're importing it into an app. So this is gonna be deployed to like student.cloudprojectbootcamp.com. It's gonna get some styling. It's gonna look a lot nicer. And you will log in with your email. Actually, you'll have to reset your password first because you don't have a password. So you'll reset your password with your email. And that's how you'll know whether you're in the list or not. And the reason why we're going about this, and you might say, Andrew, why are you making me do all these things? Well, originally I was gonna do everything through the meetup group, but we had some folks that were saying, well, I can't join it because meetup is geo-blocking me, I'm having gateway issues, all these things. And so um, I was trying to make it so that everybody could join. And so I thought maybe I'd collect a separate list of emails, um, like a few there, and then it just turned out to be everyone was doing email. So I just made an email form. Um, but I really did want people to join the meetup group because this was the original intent. This is actually, people don't realize that but prior to the bootcamp, I was doing months and months over and over of free uh, instructional training on different topics on AWS. So all this bootcamp is, is, is that, but extended over 13 weeks. And so this is the AWS Ontario Virtual User Group. And I want you to join it. And I do not care where you live because I'm not even in Toronto. It's just what I had to put in. I'm up in Scriber, Ontario. And my group is a virtual user group, meaning that anyone can join. And I would have called it the AWS global user group, but there's naming rules. I can't name it that. So please make sure you join the group. It's very important to me. And for those who already joined, I greatly appreciate that you did that. Um, I met with uh, our security instructor uh, yesterday. So if we scroll on down, uh, I met with Ashish. And so uh, Ashish runs the Cloud Security Podcast. If you aren't familiar with it, um, it's really good. So he has like experts in security and he's an expert in security as well. Um, on all sorts of topics. I've done I've done a podcast with him before and he really, really knows his AWS security. So um, the way it's gonna work is that every single week, uh, he's gonna produce a video that's going to reflect on the stuff that we did and say, hey, look, you did this stuff, but this is what you'd have to do to make it secure. And the reason we don't just do it while we do the instruction is that it'd be too much to do. It would increase the time of the bootcamp by like three, four times. Um, and so, we wanna make sure that we are uh, learning the most important things and that you're aware of these things because you might not need to implement them all. It's all dependent on your scenario. But for those who are taking the bootcamp and they wanna have a security lens to it and, and they're trying to get into a security role, then this is all the stuff that is worth for you to go do. Um, but we're just not gonna show the step-by-step -step, uh, instructions. We're gonna just tell you what the stuff it is that you'd have to do. So. Um, this is gonna be really cool. And so basically as every single week, there's a video for that. Pricing is uh, another thing that is something that people are really concerned about. And that's why I brought in Chirog. So Chirog uh, has been a solution architect for many years. Um, uh, I know him quite well. He is extremely smart, not just in AWS, but across the cloud. And he's come in to help every single week with pricing. So after the class, there is will be a pricing video at some point in the week for you to watch that helps you understand the cost of the services we are using so that you can keep on top of it and get good pricing knowledge or uh, uh, skills, uh, so to speak. So those two things, we're getting those uh, uh, off the board as, as best as we could can and make sure those things are prepped. Um, and so, yeah, if you wanna know if you're in the boot camp. What, what the thing is, is that we sent out that email registration list, we're taking that email and then we're plugging into um, the student portal that we built literally in a day or two. And we just got it deployed to Elastic Beanstalk. We had to goof around with it a bit. But once I have this nice and styled and we get it on a custom domain, you'll be able to log in with the email that you used with the registration form. Regardless if you got a confirmation, it does not matter. And the reason why I say that is because we cannot rely on email. So I sent out emails with Pinpoint and it was saying like, oh, we, uh, like I can go over here and just show you what I mean. So I go over here and we pull up Pinpoint. Okay, and this is a service we could be integrating into the bootcamp, but we need an extra week for it. And so we go over to the bootcamp and we can go over to our campaigns and here's our first steps. And so this is the one that I sent the other day. 
you might uh, uh, remember what it looks like. And so you can see here, we go to the campaign metrics. I can see that uh, there was an 80% open rate. That's actually really good. Normally it's like 15%. Um, and, but I can see that only 4,739 people clicked the link. And my point is, is that for the amount of emails we sent out, um, they're all delivered, they're all clicked. So look, 7,898 opened them. So there's like a few thousand people that might have not seen it or they their system might have opened it for them and they're not aware of it. So I'm not sure if my metrics are, are clear. But my point is, is that if you're getting this email, if you could find this email, then you're in. If you didn't get an email for the first first step stuff, this stuff, um, it could mean that you're not registered, but uh, the way you're going to really, really know is when this portal's up, you're gonna use your email, reset your password, and you're either in or you're not. That's how you're gonna know. Um, so hopefully that makes it clear. Uh, this whole accept, reject thing, we got rid of that because it just didn't work. So like I posted that the other, uh, like a couple days ago, and I'm just gonna scroll on down here so we can find in uh, our history here what I'm talking about. Where are you? Here, so this thing, this is what I was going to do. This is thrown out the window because what I was finding out is that people were working around the problem. So they didn't have a valid credit card, but they got a friend, they did something, um, or they had a concern of spend, they somehow got credits. And the problem is, is that if I just cut these people out, um, and there's probably people that will not be able to pass it no matter what. But if I cut them out of the stage, there's people that could pass it be missing out. I just don't want to do that. So what's going to happen, and I said this in the last video, is that we're going to have a validation tool. So instead of being upfront cut out of the program, what you're going to find out is that you're going to just get validated. And you're either going to have a working AWS account with a working app that we're going to validate against. If we can't validate it against you, then we can't issue... Uh, the, your certification. So just remember, you have to have a running account when we run the validators. So that is something that is uh, very important uh, to find out. And that will probably be accessible through this portal, which is still kind of ugly. Um, for uh, SheClouds, uh, we expanded the verification method. So we're finding that uh, uh, some women just don't have social media profiles, and that's fair. Um, and so uh, we introduce an alternate way. And so what you can do is direct message one of the, uh, the moderators for the she cloud in the Discord. And what you do is put your name, your, uh, the hashtag and the date. This is to um, uh, the mods and all the mods are women. So it's, it's not like it's going somewhere strange, but this is just to verify you if, if you find that you don't have any good uh, social media links because some uh, some women were asking can we just get on call and I'll just prove it to you um, and that was uh, something that was uh, not an option but now we have uh, more flexibility there to let you in uh, somebody asked me to put a visitor counter on the website so if you go to the bottom the stuff doesn't matter at all we go to the bottom and you can see it's counting up so if I hit refresh it counts up oh yeah it's counting up all the time um, and these aren't linked up yet, so these repos will be made available soon. They're just sitting in a private repo. I just have to clean up the code a little bit, but the app is there. Um, uh, Edith is now added, so Edith is helping us with our containerization day. Um, Kirk is helping us with caching. Uh, actually, he was helping a lot earlier. I just wasn't sure if he uh, was a guest speaker. We still might have one more guest speaker that is coming in, and I also have a secret guest instructor that is coming in. Um, for the last week. It's not here on the list. I keep making mistakes on this list here, but if we go to the official outline, you can see, um, I mean, maybe it's not on the outline at all. I don't know, but we should have a, a bonus uh, month in here or bonus week. So the bootcamp has been technically extended by one day. The reason I don't uh, mention what it is is because it's something that's really hard to do, not necessarily for you to do, as, uh, but it's hard to solve for instructional case, making sure that it's not expensive, uh, but I think it's high value uh, and really great. So I'd love to add that additional week. And I will tell you at some point uh, when we unveil that, and I'm pretty excited about it. So yeah, uh, that's the update. And the next update should be that this is out. And I'm just gonna show you that portal. So we'll talk to you soon. Ciao.